Hello, people. Yes, I did color my hair. <laughs> you can just call me Cherry Bomb or Strawberry Shortcake if you want to now. Um, I'm here to talk about the dye that I used. It's called Splat Rebellious Colors. Um, this is the box. It was seven something at Walmart, and I had to get two of them because my hair is all the way down my back. So, um, it comes with the bleach uh, and the color and gloves like usual. Um, bleach, I forgot how bad that it burns. I had to leave it on there for, and my hair, my normal natural hair is light brownish, reddishy brown. And it took 30 minutes to bleach it because I wanted it to be as vibrant as possible. And um, then I had to wait 30 minutes for the color to develop too. And when it says, do not let this stuff come in contact with anything, it is the serious, okay people? Uh, if you get it on something, immediately, immediately get it up. I had my bleach spray, um, my bathroom cleaner spray, and remove your rugs, or any, any clothing, your clothing. If you have your clothes basket in the bathroom, please take it out, move it. Um, you need to be prepared. Um, what I did with the bleach, um, I just took my hair, um, rolled it up, put a clear, um, I had an old clear, uh, what do you call them, shower cap? Put that shower cap on my head, and then I wrapped a towel on my head so it would hold it in there and it wouldn't, the bleach wouldn't get on the back of my neck or forehead. That may not be like the suggested thing to do um, because the bleach did heat up. It tells you the bleaching bottle. It says to please rinse them out and dispose of them properly because the it can blow up. I've never had a hair dye tell me that it could blow up. So um, I probably shouldn't have covered it because it did get really hot, but I didn't want it on the back of my neck because I have sensitive skin. Anyways, um, the dye part was easy. Daniel helped me. He did. He got a pair of gloves and helped me do the back of my hair because y'all that is the length of my hair like that is the very end of my hair it goes to the lower part of my back in layers so Daniel got a pair of gloves you know you got a man when he will put on a pair of gloves and help you dye your hair okay thank you boo but um and that's why I got two boxes too because if you have hair as thick and long as mine you're gonna need two um, I almost thought I was going to need three, but I didn't. Uh, just put it on like normal. I did it again where I rolled my hair up. It does not have that dye smell, which I was kind of thankful for because who likes the smell of a dye? It stinks. But um, really, I had no problem with the smell of it or anything. When I washed it out, y'all, oh my God, the bath, the tub, it was just raining down red. I was red, everything was red, but it says to wash it until the water runs clear. You need to know that if you do this, um, if your hair is wet at all, it's gonna stain whatever you're wearing. So when you wash your hair, be prepared to fully dry it and get it dried before you lay down in your bed because it will stain your pillows. Um, I woke up and had red on my hand <laughs> um, because I sweat a little bit at night. My medicine makes me sweat. But uh, other than that, I'm, I mean, this is the, the second, no, this is the third day I've had it done and I'm just loving it. And it says if you want to zhuzh up the color and brighten it up or to like um, re-dye the roots. If, if you're lightheaded, you can do it this way. If you're dark-headed, you're going to have to use the bleach again and then re-dye to get it this color. But what I'm going to do, it suggests that you take, they have the color um, touch-up packs that you can buy. They're cheaper than buying the whole kit. And you just take that dye and you mix it with your shampoo. You shampoo your hair 
and leave it on there for I think it said 15 20 minutes something like that and then you rinse it out and your hair is zhuzhed up and recolored so I think from now on because it was an undertaking to do my entire head of hair at once you know touching up the roots is nothing I'm sure y'all know that but they also come in different colors um, they have a purple called lusty lavender and they have a green called neon green and I don't know I might do the oh and they also have a pink called pink fetish rose so um, who knows what color I might do next but I've always wanted my hair this color I am in love with it I feel like poison ivy I feel like I need to go get a tattoo of a cherry on my arm or something I just love it I am in love with it and if you don't like it it's all right just don't comment that <laughs> keep it to yourself if you don't like it no nah, I'm kidding um, but yeah and then they even have a multicolor where you can do the streaks you can do um, the cherry pop and they got Kelly blue and sweet Ruby so it is long-lasting semi-permanent hair color extreme shocking experience and it was and I'm really enjoying it so far so and it was much cheaper because we went into Hot Topic or somewhere and they had something similar but it was like 11 freaking dollars for a bottle like that which it is thicker it's thicker than normal dye so expect that it's thicker but yeah well let me quit rambling I just wanted to show y'all my new hair color and thank y'all for watching me. Bye.